Hello there, Jose Rodriguez back again. Boy, I have to do this type of video every once in a while because it just, it is taking so much time away from production. Having to ask questions that the answer for them is included in the video description. Please take the time to click on show more and there I often explain items that you are asking questions about. I also will include links to specific locations on the internet, special forums, where the discussion that I am basing the video upon is found at those locations. And the links are there. And yet you are asking me for links to this and that when all you had to do was simply look at the description and there would be the answer to your question. But that's okay, I understand we are all in a hurry. But I plead that please take a look at those descriptions. I put them there for a reason. And it's not just to you know take up my time or your time. It's there for a good reason. All right, so I have been getting these two questions several times from different people. Are chips interchangeable between color cards? In other words, can I use a magenta chip on a yellow card. Of course not. You cannot. They are color specific. They have different color ID codes and so they cannot be interchanged. So if you for some reason say you fry a chip while you're trying to reset it, possibly because your resetter's battery is too low and so it is not providing sufficient voltage, that could result in a fried chip in other words a chip that now is containing garbled code because the resetter wasn't able to send the correct sequence of numbers to that chip so in case of Canon printers I suggest you consider the red setter type chip resetters that use a USB connection that provides constant voltage at the correct level the ones that utilize batteries, again, you have to constantly be aware that if your battery is running low, you're going to have problems sometime in the future. And by the way, guys, those chips are never meant to be reset. Never. The fact that you can reset them is something that we have to be extremely thankful for. And if you are lucky to reset a cart once, that's plenty to be... Uh, grateful for because again they are not supposed to be reset you're not supposed to be able to do that so that is it if you get a dozen resets oh my god you have you you have hit the lottery as far as resetting chips I know some of you have reset your cartridges dozens and dozens of times hey more power to you great all right second question was had to do with printer drivers and the paper choices. Do they mean the same as ICC profiles? No, they do not. The paper choices are there so that the printer driver knows how wide to set the plate and gap, how thick the material is, how heavy it is, what kind of coating does it have? Does it require more ink density or less ink density? Nothing to do with color. I'll repeat that. Nothing to do with color reproduction, nothing. The ICC profile doesn't even live in the driver. It lives in the hard drive, all right? That's where it lives and it communicates through the editing application to send instructions to that particular printer when you're using a particular paper because they, remember they are all custom made for a special type of paper. Papers react differently to color, so they are sending specific instructions on how to mix whatever number of colors your printer contains and able to as close as possible, it is impossible to get a 100% match, but as close as possible reproduce the values from the image you are sending to your printer through the driver. So the information is getting to the driver with all of that color information from the ICC profile, in other words the instructions nothing to do with the paper choice so don't get confused when you install 
a printer driver and you see certain number of paper choices these paper choices are current paper choices supported by that printer it may not have older paper choices you may have seen in an earlier say five ten years ago on a similar model printer those papers may not even exist anymore so you have modernized type paper choices from modern papers all right so that is one aspect of it and again you also cannot right click on that paper choice on the drop down menu and expect to get anything it doesn't work that way to install an icc profile you download from a site for a specific third party paper you right click that profile and then choose install on windows or just double click it it will install itself to the correct location somewhere in the windows folder on a mac you have to manually copy those icc profiles into a specific folder somewhere in the mac system which i am not uh, privy to know because i do not use macintosh so anyway that is it remember that the paper choices on the driver have nothing whatsoever to do with color reproduction okay the icc profile lives outside of the driver and it talks through the application to tell the driver how to interpret the colors that are being sent to it how to mix the colors that are available and that way at least come close to reproducing the colors on your image that's it thank you so much i hope that you guys kind of finally get it that this is the way uh, those two relationships uh, are they do not really relate to each other right one is physical and one has to do with color all right thank you once again don't forget to subscribe share and like and until the next time as always happy printing everyone bye bye